Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will talk about how we can bind an endpoint URI using the token variable. This approach really comes in handy whenever we want to deploy our code to a different server. For example, we developed a code in our development environment where we have the host name port and the transfer protocol hard-coded within our composite and we wish to deploy it to the test environment. So rather than changing the host name and port, uh, we can define token variables and we can configure those token variables in the target environment and at the runtime, the value will be replaced. So let's develop one composite and demonstrate how we can do that. So I have created this project called Tokenize URI Demo, which takes an input from the user and then calls a web service which we previously created in our previous tutorials where we discussed about the SOAP adapter. So it has a reference and the, if we go to the source, we can see that this is a reference and we want to use a tokenized URL instead of this hard coded host name and port. So probably when we deploy this to test environment, this host could be different. So how do we do that in our people in, in our composite itself we have this binding URL tokenizer we'll click this this will list down all the binding URLs that you have in your composite I have one so I'll click on this we'll click on this edit button here we it gives us that we can give a token variable instead of the transfer protocol we can give a token variable for host, we can give a token variable for port as well. For simplicity purpose, I will be only giving it to the host. So I will, I'm going to name it as T host for the token host variable. And I'm going to leave rest of it as it is. This is important, this T host, because we'll need to configure that in our server as well. We'll click on OK. We'll click on OK again. Let's save it. And if we now go to the source, we see that uh, it has been replaced with T host. So it's totally up to you if you want to use this uh, tool which is given there, binding URL tokenizer, or you can simply go to the source and put the variable name here, which you can later on configure on your server. So let's deploy this service. So as we can see, the service is deployed now. Now let's test it. So in server, as we can see, this is deploy tokenized URI demo. So let's first test it. And as we have not yet configured the token variables in our server, so it should give us some error for token configuration. So this should fail. So let's test it. And we got an error calling variable T host is not found in the token configuration. So now we will configure the token and then we'll test it again and let's see if that would work or not. So to test the, to configure the token configuration, we'll go to the SOA administrator here under the token configurations. We'll have to put the exact name of the token, which was dhost, it's case sensitive. So let's make sure we do not make any mistake here. And this value, I think it should work with localhost as well because now my server is deployed on localhost as you can see. Click on OK. Let's save. And now let's test the service again. And here we go, it says, hello Sanjay. So as you see, it at runtime, it replaced the T host with the, with the value that I gave in the token configuration. However, even in this service, even now, if you'll check the composite definition, you will be able to see that we have the token variable in here rather than the actual host. As you can see. So this is it guys, this is uh, an important feature of Oracle SOA. However, tokenizing or these tokenized variables definitely comes with some 
uh, limitations as well like we cannot use these variables in visitors or in schemas it can only work within your composite under under the uh, reference binding ws so if you have any more questions related to this feel free to drop me an email and if you have any queries or suggestions please let us know please take good care of yourself stay safe and have a nice rest of the day bye bye